Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your January 2019 general reading. Um, it's a general reading so it will not resonate with every Aquarius who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Um, I think that's it for announcements. Happy New Year. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started for Aquarius. All right. Only good things, right? So we're going to start with love, and then we'll jump into career and finance, and then we'll close it out, okay? Okay, all right. Okay, temperance at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or just a very... like a yin yang type of situation where you, you marry with someone or there's balance in a in a particular relationship or situation we're talking about love so we'll say relationship for Aquarius okay so, ten of cups the death card the page of pentacle the devil the four of cups So this is a situation with Aquarius. Um, Aquarius, for some of you, you may have ended a family dynamic with someone to start anew elsewhere. Um, if not to start anew, something ended within like a family dynamic uh, you could have been married or, or just in a long term committed relationship there could be children in the midst of, of the relationship um, children could be affecting young adult children also could be affecting uh, your your um, relationship in moving it forward is what I'm hearing Someone may come back, offer apology and or gift, but you, I think you Aquarius, it might be a toxic connection, you see, one that offers, you feel like you, you resonate with this person greatly, like the energy between you two is dynamic. You're the yin, that person is the yang, but it's also codependent, it's toxic. It may even be third party, it may be lower vibrational, it may be just based in sex or sexual activity, or or um, it may be same sex also. Someone may be younger than you. Um, You may be going back to someone and offering them a gift. The gift of starting anew, but they don't they may not want to do this. They may be rejecting a new start or this is vice versa. Uh, Aquarius is Aquarius is <laughs> not seeing what's before them or accepting an offer because they feel as if it'll be more of the three of cups it won't be a single cup they'll be putting themselves back into a situation that just wasn't best for them or wasn't 100 percent beneficial for them at the bottom of the deck now we have the nine of wands yeah so this is a person that you are in separation with or are in separation with there there's not even communication but there very, very well may be communication coming um, down the pipeline 
someone may even could try to communicate to you that they've changed or a dynamic with them changed there's fear associated with starting anew with this person you're resting and dwelling in separation thinking about the relationship and maybe the trouble and jealousy that was in it but, but still in separation from you know not not uh, moving it forward what can you tell yeah page of wands um, definitely could be someone on a younger vibration or this could be you Aquarius this could be a fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo um, Gemini sometime here the fire Scorpio uh, yeah, Scorpio Sagittarius and C Capricorn I mean if you need signs and those are the ones that are here someone's coming back with a gift with a message that they've changed that they they want to go in a new direction with you they may even dress up for you or try to woo you or sway you in some way Yes, Six of Pentacles. Um, they may definitely come to you and say that they, they are actively choosing to, to find balance with you. That they understand what the problem was in the, in the relationship that they were giving to either two parties or um, and that they've made the choice to just give to one or they understand what the problems were in in the relationship and that they four of pentacles that they want life with you ten of pentacles there six and four that they can't stop thinking about you they've been holding on to this they've been holding on to you they they don't want this to be over the, what they created with you thus far though you are in separation they still want to move things forward um wow yeah the four of sword they're trying to be in a more calm and healing placid state they're praying about a reconciliation with you what did i tell you the ten of pentacles Aquarius, this could be you also. We're not into career and finance right now, but the pentacle cards are coming out for you. The good ones, too. Um, some. Give me two more cards. Someone you're in separation with, majors, um, king of cups at the bottom of the deck. Someone who is very much in love with you or vice versa, you're in love with them. Or it could be mutual. It's holding on to the idea, the thought of having real stability with you. The five of wands is here and says that they have opposing opinion uh, oppose uh, inner conflict about what they should do or which way they should go in regards to a commitment and the institution of the institution of marriage or the institution uh, that we create in our minds and in our hearts and they are conflicted about this they want to allow the wall to be bro broken down in regards to you or vice versa but um, you guys are definitely in separation there's still love here someone still loves you 
they, they either want to offer to you or, or, or you Aquarius to offer to someone else but they're scared that either you're not going to take to it or or yeah vice versa you're scared they're not going to take to your offer or they have rejected you in the past the will of fortune the world and the magician it says destined and fated change will happen the will is turning turning in your favor maybe to close cycles to end one cycle to start a new wow you come out as the magician skip the fool go right into idealistic planning having all the necessary tools to manifest the life in love that you want um could be done with scorpio taurus aquarius like yourself leo whatever is happening something's happening around happening around someone else aquarius and it's bringing them back wanting to work on a situation wanted to offer something solid and stable a proposal of wanting to stabilize uh, wanting to come in and be like husband wife this is husband protector provider this is their wish fulfilled is to offer that they're very confused about how Aquarius feels they want to offer apology and clear the air with you in regards to the past they feel as if you have your guard up you've already got your mind made up about what they're trying to create with you and you may feel as if it's more third party energy third part yeah and to be with them would be a, a real leap of faith taking a risk a risk Virgo definitely Virgo cancer um yeah so uh, Aquarius it looks like someone wants to come back they want to offer something solid and stable to you they're not sure if you're to take to it they're not sure if you're going to um, hear them out I think you will um, this will take some time. This is definitely not an overnight situation. Someone wants to come back and they're trying to juggle. They're juggling what they should do. Should they come back in haste? They're watching you also. Aquarius hmm. we'll get some advice cards in here at the end to see what it is we should do in regards to maybe a person returning okay so career and finance offers Aquarius career and finance for Aquarius Messages for Aquarius for career and finance. Career and finance for Aquarius. Okay. All right. Okay. Three of spades. Hmm. Okay. We'll come back to that. Career and finance. Ten of spades, mm. queen of wands, ten of hearts, wow, six of clubs, eight of clubs, king, wow. All right, Aquarius, what this says is that the tough times are over, definitely. Um, 
it almost it almost reads as if you have divorced and separated from the tough times the strain the struggle the stress the mental confusion the definitely the struggle um, you have you'll be doing a lot and you'll be getting a lot of recognition um, a, a lot so that it brings you the highest level of happiness here that it brings you success and help in your business that it brings you money the eight of clubs things will be moving forward to the point where people may be jealous there may be even some trouble in an existing relationship because things are moving forward for you. Definitely, you'll be making solid and stable decisions as the king of spades. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Typically, Aquarius or Libra. Um, you're being fair and just. Even in the midst of not having to do so. The, the end of hard times the culmination of just some really great energy coming in and it looks like some money also what else can you tell Aquarius it may be in regards to divorce also and or separation uh, due to infidelity what else can you tell Aquarius seven of spades all right the loss of friendship or, or burden this is beautiful. This says that you've planned and you've got in control of. So the loss of friendship that was not carrying you to the next level or or bettering you or adding to your life, that, that friendship will be lost and uh, the loss of that burden to carry. This is good. Wow. Three of, three of hearts. You may even be uh, in a place of Partnering, reconciling. Wow, King of Wands. Or the King of Clubs. You graduate from the Queen of Clubs, who is like the the energetic, charismatic, I do this, I do that, I do this, I know this person, they can help you with that, blah blah blah. You know, that type of energy to the King of Clubs who really delegates and puts people in places where they can get things done for him does he work yes but he's also um, a great person a, a, a good entrepreneur so if some of you are thinking of entrepreneurship or you're already an entrepreneur it looks like you'll be at at a real good height wow uh, money coming in here money definitely coming in here you have to make a decision. So you're going to have to cut something away. It looks like you're doing a lot. You may have your hands in several different pots. You may have to make a decision about home. It's guided by spirit. Um, your intuition is heightened also. Wow. Your intuition is heightened in, in the realm of, this says, health, wealth, and happiness. This is beautiful. Some of you are moving. You got to make a decision about a move, which place to choose. Wow. And then the ultimate, the wish card. Make a wish. It could very well come true. More money coming in. Eight of diamond. Money comes in. It stabilizes you. Maybe up and down just a bit. Things going out. Things coming in. This is very good, Aquarius. Um, in regards to career and finance very very good You've done a lot of work and you put things in play and in order so now they're manifesting for you so it's very good okay, let's see what Aquarius should be focused on moving forward I think Aquarius you should really just be focused on career and finance in the love and romance I didn't see you doing a whole lot except for energetically intuitively knowing that another party is either missing you trying to communicate with you or in contemplation about communicating with you um and you're doing nothing about it you're not going to make the first step you're not going to do any of that because you've been there before and um 
you're just like no i'm good um if this is to come together this person will definitely make it happen if not i'm okay either way i think it's where some of my aquarius are some of you are waiting for someone to to uh contact to respond and that's okay looks like they will eventually motivation new career what did i tell you moving all in the cards like i said someone's making a um decision about home where you're moving to realizations and epiphanies sentimental feelings when it just spoke about this aquarius is doing nothing but sitting back understanding that someone is energetically missing them that they want to communicate with them that they want to get things started back up with them Aquarius is doing nothing they understand that that's what's going on moving some of you are physically moving uh, mentally emotionally moving away from um, some of you are physically moving look like a physical move for some of you um, new career uh, coming up as the Queen of Wands and then the King of Wands, the you know, jumping up to the King of Wands. It's as if some of you are entrepreneurs or you're really thinking about that or you're making moves to move to go in that direction, and that'll be your new career change. Have the motivation to move things forward, whatever you're thinking about. Uh, sentimental feelings keep you tied to another or tied to. Um, a particular person mm. or tied to a situation job uh, family member this could be good this could be bad this is like four of cups you know it's like yeah I still have feelings for them but you think of the good and the bad sentiment is there it, it's beautiful but at the same time, it's like a hot stove. You know, it's like, oh, I don't know if I want to touch that. You know, um, I'll get burned. You know, so, I don't know if that's the best analogy, but it, it, that's where you are with that. You kind of standoffish. Um, okay, what do you have to tell Aquarius for a new career? Knight of Wands in reverse. Knight of Wands in reverse says, do not be hasty in regards to moving into this new career. Um, take your time, though there is passion here. Or it might even be talk about the lack thereof. Six of Sword. Something about not moving. Six of Sword in reverse, not moving just yet. Why is Aquarius not moving into the new career just yet? Okay, the magician. This talks about the aces. Ace of one, ace of cups, ace of pentacle, um, ace of sword. You have to uh, plan out in thought. Uh, get your emotions under control in regards to the ace of cups. Listen for spirits, uh, messages to come to you. Uh, ace of wands, take action. Also, there'll be synchronized events around you that will uh, help you you know move forward push forward um i mean the ace of pentacle the the manifestation of actually having it there in front of you and then building it into the ten of pentacles so this says don't move career so quick so soon because you have just a bit more work to do you're coming up as the magician so you you have all the tools, ne tools necessary. I think you really have. It's an organization thing. Get organized here before you just jump into it. That it could even be business plan. You know, getting a business plan together and really um, thinking it through. Okay. What do you have to say for Aquarius for the card of moving? Just say for Aquarius. Ooh, I want to take these. Way too many. Let me have to say two Aquarius. 
Wow, nice. Six of Wands. Victory here. Help and success here in your move. Um, you'll be able to make the right choice too. The sixes are about a uh, choice being made. This will be the right choice. The correct choice. The one that benefits you best in your move. Uh, one more card for moving for Aquarius. One more card for move. Okay. Wow, four of wands, ten of wands. And the ten of wands talks about the actual physical moving. The guy has the wands on his back, and that's what moving is all about. You gotta pick that stuff up and move it, right? Um, but this says that the six of wands. You'll you'll make the right choice. It'll be a solid and foundational choice. This also talks about home. So definitely, some of you are moving home. Good news to some of you. Um, congratulations. You're also gonna be purchasing a home so that's, that's beautiful realizations and epiphanies Re okay knight of pentacles in reverse what did i say this person is taking their time dragging their feet they don't know if you'll accept them this could be capricorn virgo taurus they want to be the knight of pentacles upright they've slowed it down or put it to complete halt but they still want to come toward you because they're coming up as the knight of of you know pentacles Let's see. This is a person who is now the Knight of Pentacles is typically sure of the journey and sure to uh, get what they want because they they really strategize, they're practical and logical. But in the reverse, something happened, something changed. Yeah, the Tower in reverse. They may be trying to avoid a disaster or what they may deem as a disaster. You could be dealing with a Scorpio person. Something changed here in regards for them to completely turn the energy around. These two cards fell out. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The Justice card. Either this person um, is contemplating getting married or they are, are, they're wanting to come out of singlehood. Or they want to come out of doing things for themselves or or being super independent or acting single when they know they are 100% partnered. Um, they feel like that's the just and fair thing to do, the karmic thing to do. Um, this one's for Knight of Cups in reverse. You could be dealing with a Cancerian person with the two horses here. Someone slowed down the action because maybe they are um, no longer single or, or no longer on the market one more card for realizations and epiphanies okay two more the moon the star in reverse and the death in reverse yeah Things can come together because these two people are very different. They want the same thing, but they go about things very differently. So that then that brings about uh, confusion, maybe even secrets, lies, or just people being mentally, emotionally confused. You definitely could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio is here. Um, This person has some secrets and, and or some lies. Uh, the star in reverse. They didn't get what, what they wanted from you or, or vice versa. You didn't get what you wanted from them. But the door is still open with the death card in reverse. And then judgment. Yeah, it's the same story from the love reading. There's someone who wants to come back and offer something. Um. They aren't sure that you'll take to it or vice versa. You guys flip the story, the story as you will. Someone wants a second chance. Someone has halted all forward movement because they don't know where Aquarius stands. Okay. All right. So if you feel like this reading resonated with you for you, go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe. Book your own personal reading. Take advantage of coupon code 10 off 35 over at the website just to see what the new year brings for you. I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity. Thank you. Uh, happy new year once again. Take care. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Bye.